Hello, Taurus. This is a reading for the month of March. Uh, I know I have been out. I have been absent, guys, but I needed some time to myself to um, deal with life. <laughs> I am here now for you guys, and um, I'll, I will definitely try to keep a consistent um, pattern for you. Because I know how important that can be. For some reason, I'm getting this feeling that um, there there's somebody that is wanting to confront someone else, whether that's you guys wanting to do that to someone or somebody's wanting to do that to you. But there's this feeling of really not knowing how to confront something like that. But I do feel like there's there's not really this level of sneakiness, but there's a this it's it's this feeling of catching someone off guard, um, and the other person not even knowing that this person is is thinking this or feeling this. Okay, and this card just flew out. Two of Wands. This is an Aries energy here. This could definitely be your energy. This energy of looking down on a situation, basically having a bird's eye view um, of, of what's actually going on, but not making a move on uh, one thing in particular. But this, uh, this could also be somebody else's energy, the other person's energy, this feeling this way towards you. Um, looking at a situation and, and feeling like they know all the facts, but not making a move one way or the other. Okay. That two of wands energy. What's crossing Taurus? Four of Cups. Cancerian energy there. Somebody's feeling ignored. Somebody's feeling like they're not getting the attention that they want. Um this could definitely be you guys feeling like somebody is ignoring you. This person's acting like they could give a take you. Um, being an asshole. <laughs> being a big baby, even. And I think there's something that you're trying to figure out. Or either this other person's trying to figure out. Like, is it legit? Or am I just in my feelings about this? underlying issue here for Taurus temperance trying to keep your cool you've had a hard time keeping your cool getting along with this person before but I feel like you're at this point where you just want to be at peace you just want uh, just to be left the hell alone basically you're trying to get your head and your heart in sync um, you want your, your actions to line up with what you're feeling. And I feel like this person has probably brought out the worst in you before. Sagittarius energy there. And I think you're just wanting to just, you know, be in your own little serene world and needing to keep your cool. If this person comes towards you, I feel like, um, there's a need for you guys just not to react, but to just respond if you want to respond. You know, because I'm looking at the bottom of the deck there, and I see the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is usually coming with some aggressive um, words, you know, aggressive actions even. What's going on in the recent past? What is that? Look at that. <laughs> Five of Swords, that Aquarius energy. I feel like you guys really butted heads, whoever this is, because, you know, Aquarius and Taurus are both fixed signs. So, you know, you believe what you believe, and they did too, or they do too. And so there's a tendency to not really, you know, get off of what you believe to kind of meet in the middle, but to like gravitate to what you believe and stay right there. And so I feel like there's definitely a feeling of wanting to confront somebody here. There is um, a, a lot of arguments that have gone on, a lot of 
feeling like this person is always trying to one up you or trying to outdo you, uh, trying to hurt you with their words even. And that may have been something that was like an exchange between the two of you. There were a lot of fights before in the past with this person. And I feel like you're kind of looking back on this and feeling like, you know, did I have a part? I think you're reflecting. Did I play a part in this? I mean, do I have some sort of responsibility? For what happened between us. You know, did I start some of this? Was it just them? You know, I think you're at this point where you're kind of reflecting on things. But you're not trying to let this person disturb your peace either. Because I feel like they can bring out the worst in you. And that's something that you definitely do not want. <clears throat> Chronic thoughts for Taurus. Nine of Pentacles. Just being single, <laughs> flourishing as a single person, um, being independent, being happy, being confident in who you are and what it is that you're doing, that Virgo energy. At, at, at the same time, though, I feel like there's a, there's a part of you that is rethinking the whole single situation because I'm feeling like... Um, you want to reconcile your differences, if not like reconcile and get back together with this person. There's something in you, I feel like you're wanting to like put something to bed and and come to like this common um, agreement between the two of you. You know, to smooth things over. Even if you don't get back together with this person, there's this feeling of wanting to hash things out but not fuss about things not fight about things kind of get your point across let them get their point across if that can happen though because there's this history again of like this battling you know battle a battle of words <clears throat> it's coming in for Taurus why that came in reverse I have no clue you guys already know that I don't do reversals. I don't intentionally do it anyway. But the Ten of Cups come in reverse. Okay. I think that you, not that you're going to be unhappy, but I think that right now for you, you're deciding that maybe it's best that um, I just kind of stay on this path of being single. Maybe I'm not uh, meant to be in a relationship right now. Maybe I'm not emotionally available to be in a relationship right now. That Piscean energy. Um, yeah. I think you're just kind of, I think you're over uh, the emotional ups and downs of, of whatever happened between you and this person. And you still have feelings for this person. But I feel like all of this fighting and arguing and stuff before in the past is just too much. And it's still too fresh. And, and when you think about this relationship, that's what you think about. Okay. How does Taurus feel about this situation? Three of Wands. Still checking this person out. Still thinking about them. I think you're actively waiting on them to make peace, to show you some sort of sign. You're wondering if they're still very argumentative. You're wondering if if they're still um, somebody that is never wrong in their eyes. You know, um, you're wondering, and I feel you're still waiting on them. That Aries energy there could definitely be an Aries individual that you're dealing with. Uh, may have Aquarius in their chart close to Pisces, you know. <clears throat> What's the influence here for Taurus? Nine of Swords. I think you're thinking about all the things that could go wrong or all the things that that have not changed, but you don't really know that though. That's the thing. The Nine of Swords is not real. So if you think this person is still the same, they're still the same um, argumentative person, they're still this person that can do no wrong, I don't feel like that's true at this point, okay? I don't feel like that's true. I feel like you're overthinking things because of how things work. That's Gemini energy there. Hopes or fears for Taurus. 
Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you want to work on this. There's something that you want to culminate here. I think you're open to working on it. And you're wondering if this person's open to working on it too. Again, that Virgo energy. So overall outcome here for my Taurus friends. Justice. Justice, that Libra energy, doing the right thing, getting what you deserve, getting what you deserve. I feel like the big question mark here is what is it that you feel like you deserve? What is it that you feel like is the right thing to do deep down inside? Not what your ego is telling you to do, but what your intuition is actually telling you to do, guys. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull an added card from the romance angels to give you guys a little added message what is this separation time apart from your partners on the horizon so if that's what you feel like you need to do then that's what you do if you feel like you need a little more time apart or, or you need a little more time to see if this person has actually changed or if this is even right for you then so be it okay do what's best for you guys but I definitely get there's a lot of love here. There was a commitment here. I feel like um, maybe you guys are, are are very similar in a way. And um, you just butted heads a lot. There, there were things that you couldn't iron out when you were together before. Okay? So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.